you're watching the news on Bahrain Television. His Majesty seeking Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sqir Palace today. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty reviewed with the Royal Highnesses the successful outcome of the recent official visit to Egypt and his fruitful talks with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi that resulted in the signing of many agreements and memoranda of understanding in various fields, which will boost strategic relations between the two countries and will serve the interests of both countries and people. His Majesty commanded ended the warm reception and hospitality he and his delegation received during the visit, asserting the vital role of Egypt and its strategic weight in supporting Arab issues and regional security and stability. The meeting also discussed national issues and ways of making more achievements for the kingdom and people. His Majesty the King commended the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in following up and developing the work of the government in the service of the kingdom and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met at Sakhir Palace today with the President and Board of Trustees Member of Eastern Mediterranean Regional Office of the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, currently visiting the Kingdom. Also present were His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the deep-rooted historic and brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and their people. He highlighted the significant role of Saudi Arabia led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and monarch of the Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in defending Arab and Islamic issues. He commended the efforts and humanitarian role of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed in the field of preventing blindness and visual disability, pointing out his voluntary services through his role in national and international institutions in the field of ophthalmology and chairing the Eastern Mediterranean Regional Office of the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness. His Majesty he noted the ongoing cooperation between Bahrain's Ministry of Health with the regional office in providing health and medical services. He wished His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed continued success and for the 13th Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology Conference being held in the Kingdom today to achieve its goals. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care to the initiatives of the Prevention of Blindness Regional Office. He also praised the excellent Bahraini Saudi relations and the royal support of both countries' leaderships. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today his weekly Majlis at Rafah. His Royal Highness welcomed a broad range of visitors, including members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists and diplomats accredited to the Kingdom. The attendees expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness's keen engagement with citizens by maintaining the commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. The attendees also commended the efforts of His Royal Highness to reinforce sustainable development within the Kingdom under the development program initiated by His Majesty King Hamad as well as the government's efforts to deliver significant improvement to public services.
Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the 13th Middle East Africa Council of Ophthalmology Congress, Miyako 2016, was opened today by the Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The ophthalmology conference, which is hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, is from the 4th to the 8th of May and is held at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center with the participation of 2,000 experts in the field of ophthalmology from various parts of the world. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Premier to the organizers and participants of the conference and his wishes of success for the conference which he said will contribute in elevating the field of ophthalmology and develop new means for diagnosing and treating eye disease. Sheikh Ali affirmed that the health and medical sector in Bahrain enjoys care and support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, adding that the government continuously works towards developing quality health and medical treatment services in Bahrain. He went on to say that the care for the health sector in Bahrain has enhanced Bahrain's ability to attract investment in such a sector and to establish its status as health tourism destination. This is said to be a attributed to the kingdom's fine infrastructure, hospitals and medical experts and specialists. Sheikh Ali asserted on the importance of holding such specialized medical conferences for the purpose of supporting the government's directions and plans for elevating the health sector and extending medical services and cure for citizens and residents. Sheikh Ali voiced pride in choosing Bahrain to host such an important medical conference, which is considered one of the major events in the Middle East and Africa in the field of ophthalmology. This, he added, reflects the high standard and ability of Bahrain in organizing and hosting such international events. The Minister of Interior, head of the Civil Defense Council, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, today chaired the ninth council meeting in the presence of the Minister of Energy, Minister of Work, Minister of Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Minister of Health, Minister of Industry and Commerce, Minister of Information Affairs, the CEO of the Supreme Council of Environment, and the Director of Public Security. The meeting comes within the framework of efforts exerted to protect the safety of citizens and residents and reflects coordination and cooperation between the different bodies of the kingdom in order to enhance means of public safety and security. The Council was briefed by the CEO of Tatwir on the measures taken as a result of decisions reached during the past meeting. He made reference to safety and security challenges faced and measures taken in such regard. Views were also exchanged with regards to finding an alternative area for camping away from Bahrain oil well and the importance of citizens' awareness with regards to safety and security. The Council was also briefed on the results of the visit made by the National Committee to the UK and South Korea on the issue ban of chemical weapons and capitalizing on the experience of other countries in this regard. At the end of the meeting, the Minister of Interior expressed thanks and appreciation to the Council members for their effort and keenness on communication and coordination on issues related to citizens' and residents' safety and security.